Aloha. <laughs> that means oneness with the breath of the love of all life and that passion for that love of life. And that's what we're here to share with. And I always tell people the secret to immortality, and this ties in with that breath, the secret to immortality is no matter what happens, you keep breathing. Okay? So if everybody be breathing deeply and fully, I'd appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to talk about bioscalar regenerative technology. And we're going to, we're going to, oops, backwards. We're going to go through this fairly quickly because one of the things that the bioscalar energy creates is super learning states. So we're going to go, can we, yeah, it's uh, scrolling automatically. So let's, ah, it goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I do it. And I can. You've got to interrupt. Then I have to get somebody I don't know. Oh dear. Okay. Anyway, bioscalar energy is created. We're we're using a field engine uh, system that generates multiple bioactive energy fields. And if this goes too fast, you can read it all in your. <laughs> it's, it is printed in the. Um, program. It's able to generate multiple bioactive fields, including electromagnetic energy fields of various frequencies, including the Schumann resonance and the virgin rainforest energies. This, um, a lot of the fields measure like being in the rainforest. It's just life-enhancing fields and other frequencies, including the nonlinear, non-Hertzian, fifth-dimensional scalar fields, which have been proven to promote health and allow cellular regeneration. Okay. Uh, Bob, Dr. Bob Del Montique liked to talk about him. It's about creating a new picture of healthy aging. I used this in when I was in Turkey. <laughs> for, uh, and one of the things in Turkey, uh, there was a conference, the first International Care Congress, addressing the issues of population aging. And one of the things that was presented there, that to have healthy aging, we must be creating health at every age. And one of the heads of the World Health Organization stood up and said, the disease model, the medical model, the pharmaceutical model is not working. We have to create a new model for health. And right now in Turkey, they are building cities of health. But I'd like to talk about Dr. Bob Del Montique. He's 86 years old in this picture. And, uh, and this is what he said about our techno technology. Basically, he talks about he's never been so relaxed. <sighs> It, yeah, it's, it's automatically uh, progressing. Anyway, he's never been so relaxed. He's been a meditator over 60 years, can go into deep relaxing states. But the technology allows people to go into even deeper uh, states of meditation, like the optimal meditational states, very, very rapidly. And one of our studies that's gone through the IRB and is being published now, it went through the IRB and all the peer-reviewed research is being published, it's high statistical significance through Holos University, this um, study is being published. Uh, it shows how deep, how fast the, even the seasoned meditators went using the technology. But he's able to relax into the deep states, activate the cells to get such passion and energy as never before. And it eliminates, relaxes the stress to activate that life force to get you to start living more fully. And the technology is designed to bring everything to its highest potential. This is a picture with, Dr., uh, with uh, Linda Gray with Dr. Bob Del Montique. Oops. And it's, yeah, it's automatically progressing. Give me two minutes, just talk extemporaneously, and we're going to fix it. We have to take you away from the computer and turn it off. Okay. okay. So go ahead and just continue explaining some of the work. Yeah, you're going to take it off of the automatic progression. Okay. So Linda Gray, um, I'm the baby in that picture, but uh, I'm only in my mid-50s. But I do have four kids. Uh, they're aged 21 to 35 and three grandbabies. So... Uh, so we do practice this. I've taught holistic health for over 30 years worldwide, and, and this is my passion. I was very excited to hear also a uh, presentation about Okinawa because I was just there a week ago. I was there for nine days in Okinawa. We're going to have our uh, base in Okinawa for, uh, for Asia, but it's... Um, you know, the greatest longevity on the planet right now is in Okinawa. And, of course, the greatest longevity for whites in the U.S. is in Hawaii. And so we're going to be sharing more of those secrets of longevity with the world. And thank you very much. Okay. 
And I think we'd all rather grow younger than older so we can all have anti-aging birthday parties. Okay, and this is what Linda Gray of Dallas said, sleeps better, meditation deeper, skin more radiant, bioscalar energy brings me clarity, alignment, strength, focus, incredible joy. And we're going to have the technology set up here over the weekend if you'd like to try it. Uh, there's a physicist um, who's a Pentagon DOD NASA pattern energy consultant, uh, and his specialty has been brain research. Now, John Orva is a top government scientist and inventor, Phantom Works, um, Skunk Works, those that know what that is, uh, and especially in brain research, and he's done some of the research on our technology. And there is a video on our website, if anybody's interested, of him in the fields of a simple four-unit system of our technology of the energy enhancement system, measuring the fields with a specialized oscilloscope and explaining what he's seeing and what it means. So it's applied physics at a very high level of application. And that's what we heard is that physics is where we're going to have to go. Energy medicine is the future. Uh, this energy enhancement system has been presented uh, by Dr. F.E. Chow, who's on the Presidential Advisory Board, who presented to the NIH National Institute of Health in the U.S. as the future of medicine. And there's a lot of reasons why. Anyway, it's uh, one of the aspects, it's a photonic fusion technology that can actualize highest potential by creating healthy, life-enhancing, self-regenerative cohesive fields that promote longevity and prevent aging through entraining the physiology to gain self-referral regenerative cellular function beyond, beyond relative time and space. It's like an infinity wave that lasts a long time, and you've got that space between breaths or that center point. It's a zero-point energy also. And one of the common things experienced with the technology is um, time warp. Uh, David Farnsworth, another government scientist and inventor, he invented something called the Mini-Meme. It's a spectrum analyzer. There's a lot of research we could talk about. I'm going to be going very quickly through some of it, but I'll be here all weekend and can talk more about it. And he's also developed some hydrogen technology. He was actually brought into one of, uh, a lab with our technology in Oregon. He was brought in to invalidate the technology and to prove that it wasn't scalar. And after being in there, he called me up and went on for two hours about what all it was doing uh, and uh, told the people that it was doing everything I said it did and a whole lot more. But these are some of the quotes from it. It's the cleanest, smoothest, most efficient application of scalar you'd ever seen because it works. I mean, it really works. And there isn't anything else on the planet doing what this is doing. That's also what uh, John Norva said. Um, we're in Korea. We were brought in by top scientists, presented to the, uh, we presented to all the heads of the universities, the deans of the universities, scientists in, in Korea. And I like this graphic of showing the energy because this is bioscalar. And it's that energy, it's that life force charge. And you can feel it. it's tangible fields. And uh, this was uh, from the newspaper article. They did a two page full color spread on me and the technology and the research with uh, Dr. S.K. Lee there. Uh, there are only two types of, field, of waves. You've got the transverse waves. These are electromagnetic waves, sound waves, light waves, heat, um, so many waves. Um, and then the alternative or scalar fields, which are the nonlinear, non Hertzian, fifth dimensional standing waves. I like this depiction because it can show the interface with the DNA which was very, very intentional. Of course, Tom Bearden's done a lot on scalar potential and the fa phase conjugate wave pairs and what that means. So you, there's a lot we can go into on this and, and how those wave pairs um, work with the, the interaction and the charge. Okay, morphogenic intentional resonance fields. With uh, the EE system, we've got four, six, eight, 12, or 24 unit systems that are precisely laser installed. And they're, they look like computers, but they're not. Okay, we're using computer components, but we've created our own custom built field generator engines. And these produce hyper healthy fields. It's just hyper healthy, superconductive, dense, coherent, informational, intentional fields that initiate bioresonant processes that begin restoration of the original blueprints 
of the genetic perfections.